Hello, my name's Sylvester McCoy. I'm an actor. I suffer from arthritis in my ankles. I call my arthritis in my ankles um, comedy war wounds, really, because my acting career was very physical. I was tumbling, falling. I'd fall downstairs just for a laugh. And I'd fall out of windows again for a laugh. Not realising that years later I would suffer for it because I was really, really punishing my joints. And the pain came around when I got to about 50. And then it became almost impossible to carry on doing any physical work. So I had to get it fixed. As you can see, ankle arthritis is a disabling condition. Most cases occur after trauma, such as multiple severe sprains or fractures of the ankle. This leads to a progressive wear and tear of the shock absorbing cartilage and over years, the development of osteoarthritis. Ankle arthritis can also be caused by other diseases such as rheumatism or gout, but the end result is the same. The cartilage becomes worn away, the bones can rub together causing pain, stiffness and can have a major impact on the quality of your life. Before surgery is considered, there are many non-surgical treatments that should be tried, such as using painkillers, changing your activity levels, weight loss and physiotherapy. The two main surgical treatments available through the NHS are ankle arthrodesis and ankle replacement. Ankle arthrodesis involves removing the arthritic joint surfaces. The two bones are then held together with metal screws or plates to stop any movement. And over time, the two bones fuse together to become one. This can be a keyhole procedure or open surgery, depending on your circumstances. In total ankle replacement, the arthritic joint surfaces are removed and resurfaced with metal components. A plastic insert is then placed between the metal surfaces to allow motion. Every patient is different and your surgeon will discuss the most appropriate post-operative plan for you.